We're on Sperry Street here in Milford. If you can see behind me all the way down there, that is Long Island Sound. It's about a block or so away. During Irene, that water came all the way up across the street onto this street. It was two and a half feet deep, and it was right under that window right there. Ronald Michael's porch was ripped off the siding. It's just a pile of planks now. The whole street was underwater. This mark shows where the water line was. And inside, the home's been gutted. But repairs are at a standstill because FEMA's engineer said the structural damage was pre existing. The structure itself, that's, that's all he said, was just the structure inside was not the way it should be. That will cost $20,000 to fix. Then Michaels found out because he has over 50% damage, the entire home has to be lifted up. That's the law and he can't get a building permit until it is. That would cost another 30000 There is grant money, but... Uh, the problem that I have is that you have to put up $30,000 before they will pay you. He's already paying both a mortgage and rent since he's out of the home. He says he can't afford all this, and Michaels is not alone. Oh, they had to rip up all of my floors, actually, um, and they had to cut into the walls in the mudroom. Next door, Tiffany Sprague is also dealing with delays and bureaucratic headaches. The flood water shifted the central beam under her house. Again, FEMA said it was a pre-existing condition. She will appeal, but... You know, that means getting a lawyer and additional fees there, and I'm a single homeowner, and I'm not sure how I'm going to you know, support that process at this point. Folks here say they paid flood insurance for years and can't believe they're having to fight all this. And now Michaels is coming to the realization he may have to just cut his losses and leave. I really think I'm going to walk away. I mean, if nothing happens, I paid my last month's mortgage right now. I mean, I just can't afford to keep on paying and not be able to live in my home. Irene hit exactly six months ago today. On the scene in Milford, Annie Rourke, News 8.